Good morning! We are here at George Ranch Historical Park where there's more than 100 years of Texas history on 20,000 acres of land. So let's go get to learning! So we arrived to our first stop, 1830's Jones Stock Farm. Let's go inside. I came down here in 1821 and signed a contract with Stephen Austin and the Mexican government for 4,428 acres of land. And that's more land than like a couple of Reliance stadiums with the parking lot stacked side by side. The first thing you have to do is build a home. There's absolutely no electricity in this cabin, okay? But we do get the air conditioning. This house is built with the north-south wind in mind. Now this is called a Betty lamp. It goes way, way, way back. It's basically a grease and oil lantern. You put a piece of rope, and that's the wick, and you fill this up with like grease or oil, and you light it. I see some, are these feather pins over here? That is not something we see every day. Why the feather? That's what I've always been curious about. Well, they're readily available. Just like that. A house like this, how long would it take to build? About two years. The hardest part about building a cabin is hauling the logs because there's no Home Depots, no Lowe's. If you need logs, you have to get it. Henry, thank you so much for showing us around here in the early 1800s. We're going to go see what else is on the George Ranch. Now we're stepping into the 1890s, the Share Cropper Farm. What's the deal with these eggs? I keep seeing them, but I don't know what they're for. We sometimes get snakes in our chicken coop. They keep eating the eggs. So we would put out the wooden eggs, which would trick them, and they would eat those, which they can't digest, and it would keep them from eating our eggs, and then would also help take care of our snake problem. So we always see these in the movies. We think it's water in a jar, but it is actually vinegar. They were very smart to preserve anything that they needed through the winter. They would put it in vinegar, soak it in this jar, and it would be preserved. How cool is that? So we were walking through your sharecropper's farm house. This is where 10 children, per se, lived in this Mom, tiny little home. Mom and dad and eight kids lived in there, and that's when it was one room. Where do they sleep at, all the children? Well, there's a mattress hanging on the end of the bed, but uh, you spread them out on the floor, and that's where everybody goes to sleep at night. Now we have stepped into the 1930s, and we're learning how to work horses and cattle. So let's go see what it's all about. One of the things you'll see here is some cattle working demonstrations. On any given day, that might include some roping, some, some cattle sorting. We just got to meet Tex. That is our full-grown Texas Longhorn. He is gentle as a puppy dog, but those horns can be pretty dangerous, even, even as gentle as he is. Six foot from tip to tip. We have now made it to our last stop, 1930s George's House. informational more than a hundred years of Texas history. Woo! Mind-blowing. I suggest that you come out here to the George Ranch Historical Park. It's open Tuesday through Saturday. Tours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come learn about Texas and what it's all about here at the George Ranch Historical Park. <laughs>